Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage video. I'm Rob and today I shall be attempting to take this Matchbox Series number 5, Lotus Europa from 1969, uh, from shabby to shiny. This one is uh, part of an unboxing video. Uh, friend of the channel, Stephen Parrott, uh, who you will see regularly down in the comments section. And, uh, you know, I send a couple of messages on, I think it's either the Facebook or the emails. Um, but anyway, he, he said to me a little while ago, Rob, I've got a load of these cars and um, I'm going to be doing a few of them. I'm going to be keeping a few of them, but do you want the rest? And of course I said, yes, please. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, yeah, he's popped them in the post. The unboxing part of this will be at the end. And uh, But through it, I selected this one for kind of custom restoration today. And I hope you like it. And of course, with 2,000 likes, it could be yours. So we start by drilling down the center of the post. Uh, there are two on this car. Lucky me, I shall remove both flanges and tap both holes. Please do remember to lubricate the end of your piece. You do not want to break it. But this one, as you can see, it uh, kind of goes over to the left. I think there's so much uh, carpet stuck in these axles, in these wheels, that yeah, I'm lucky really that it uh, rolled at all. But of course we've got the opening wheels, or the... <laughs> The opening wheels, the opening doors, and as you can see, I have pre drilled this one. So just uh, popping off the base here to see what we are playing with. So the windscreen there, quite heavily uh, scratched. I didn't realize how heavily scratched it was until you know I got all the dirt off and all that overpaint. And uh, yeah, same again with the. So I'm just going to give this a chop. No Lotus should have, in my opinion, a tow hook. But, uh, yeah, taking out these original wheels, yeah, as I suspected, there's half half your carpet in these axles. And these will go into my little spare box. And I'll need to take off the paint and polish up this base later on. And then you can see, so of course this was an originally a pink coloured car, um, but the child that owned these cars that you will see in the end in the unboxing, quite a few of them, probably five or six, were painted in black. So, you know, I wanted to kind of, I guess, reimagine this child's dream of having a black Lotus Europa. So it will be painted in black today, with a little extra touch. But anyway, the... Uh, Main cast in there into the foot long hot dog jar covered in boiling water, and there's a tablespoon of caustic soda. So, not a huge amount to see. There's a lot of uh, reaction in that water. I think the black paint is really coming off, but uh, yeah, whilst that is doing its thing to one side, we shall clean up the interior here and the window section and as you can see with just a little bit of uh, well warm water there's been quite the uh, improvement but we've got this uh, paint on here and this is the green stuff world uh, paint remover and I find that it's actually very subtle paint remover so I'm able to kind of put these plastics in here you know I wouldn't want to leave it there overnight but you know just enough for me to use this uh, earbud or q-tip now and uh, take off these tiny little bits of paint. I also use a toothpick as well, just to help with the most uh, stubborn. But yeah, rubbing it a few times, you can see, very slow process, but it will come off. And there we are, that interior, looking good as new. Um, I didn't bother taking the paint off of that hook. Of course, I'm gonna be removing that. And then I've done quite well on the uh, windscreen here, but hoping that uh, the Dremel will take off any other remnants. And I've been giving it a go over with this uh, Lamp Doctor, which normally does the trick, but as you can see, it's shiny, but there's still a lot of uh, imperfection in that, and that's not going to be good enough today. So um, I'll take it to the 1200 grit sandpaper and uh, give it another go over. So now I've uh, cut off that uh, tow hook, and that is much more like it. 
and uh, yeah, polishing up the base as well. All that uh, over paint from previous is now gone. But um, having flushed the caustic solution down the sink, we have uh, quite a lot of excess water today. But uh, yeah, we'll clean that up quickly. Before moving on, of course, the battery powered Dremel um, and water certainly doesn't mix. But uh, we'll give you a little sample here of the uh, bonnet and the roof section. So having done that now all over, we'll be using the uh, black primer here. Now this paint is good enough you know, to, to either have a satin finish or I've even um, clear coat straight over this. And I see it in black and I thought this is kind of what I wanted. Um, but then I remembered you know, that this was originally a pink car and that there were some shades of pink coming through. So I thought I'm not just going to leave it only black, I want to try to add or add a uh, pink color flip a very subtle color flip but you know a flip nonetheless but there's the uh, the undercoat and yeah we're using the green stuff well this is solar anomaly and what this should do is flip between a pinkish color and like a goldish color it's more on the purplish pink I guess you know, hinting towards the uh, the original colour, perhaps. And I only just do a single pass. Normally, I will do two or three passes. But like I say, subtlety today. And you can really see it once that uh, clear coat goes on, anyway. But yeah, so later on in the day, there's that interior, nice and clean. The uh, windscreen there, beautiful and the uh, the base. I'll give it another polish up and a little bit of chrome around the uh, front bumper and this is the uh, wheel choice today. It was the wheels that chose this car to be honest. And then here we have it nice and shiny. Added a few little chrome details. Didn't go overboard today with the details. Just a couple of little chrome ones. But yeah, here's a little reminder of what she looked like. And this is the result. So this these wheels you know they've got a little bit of poke to them I don't mind that I actually quite like that um, of course I could just simply push them in if I wanted it flush or or if you wanted to run the wheels even on the inside but it just seemed that car it just seemed that uh, the style of a bit of a you know weekend warrior race car that uh, just need that little bit of poke but yeah you can see the little chrome details there nothing over the top today and hopefully you can see a bit of the color flip. Again, it's a subtle color flip, but it's certainly there, more so in real sunlight. But please do remember, we have 2,000 likes, it could be yours. And I just want to take this opportunity to, again to uh, give a massive thanks to Steve Parrott. Uh, thank you for uh, continuing to watch my videos, mate, and sending these off. Um, I hope you like this one as well. And... Uh, Again, another, another thanks to my patrons. Thanks, guys. But, uh, yeah, I hope you like this one. But please do stick around for now the unboxing. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another Matchbox Garage unboxing video. Um, today, we have one that I have kind of just put the knife through already. But we do have a note. Hi Rob, I bought a job lot of Matchbox Lesney vehicles from a guy having a clear out. Um, I've kept the vintage ones and want to renovate, 
and thought that uh, these might be good for you to make sense of or use for spares. Uh, these are a couple I have completed, painted by hand. Best wishes, Steve Parrot. Okay, so Steve, yeah, he's um, a regular um, kind of, well, a viewer and commenter on the channel, so thanks, Steve. Uh, Steve did uh, email me probably a week ago now and mentioned that uh, something was going to be on its way, so I've been looking forward to this little package. Um, but let's have a look at some of the jobs he's done. So we got the original condition tell you what for hand painted that looks very nice and this uh, original bus here that looks brand new so wonderful job Steve let's have a look see what we got in the box a lot of packing peanuts um, very well packed let me see if I can just dig through go through the pile so we have up first a number 12 this is the hovercraft so that, I've never done one of them before and here we have a class or class combine harvester so we do have the tire there look. there you go bit of restoration as we go along so that's very nice lovely little trailer what's that that's a marks see I've not got this um, I've never had this brand before uh, this has been over painted but this is a marks made in Hong Kong um, and I don't believe we have the original um, cab for it but I'll have to have a look at that a nice little trailer. Uh, the Porsche 910, so this one's been overpainted. A lovely car, lovely sleek design. Uh, another one that's been overpainted. This is a Matchbox Series number 44 refrigerator truck. And we're missing the rear door there. Uh, this is a wheel crane number 30 um, part of the actual crane has been snapped off and the hook which is a shame this is a tojo and I think these all come in different kind of designs uh, but it appears this one should have had something on uh, the child obviously loved uh, painting their cars black um, that's one in black We've got another one here in black. This is a Husky uh, Ford Control Land Rover. So this would have been a military vehicle. Uh, broken a little bit on the front bumper there, but otherwise that's not too bad. Uh, what other ones are you painted in black? So we've got the Lotus Europa opening doors. Would have been pink originally. Looks like all the parts are here and the windscreen's in good condition. But yeah, over painted in black. Uh, probably see the uh, JSP, the Japanese only edition, painted in black with the gold JSP on the front. I did have one of those once, but I sold it on. Um, what's this? A weather. Weather, I don't know what that says. Weather rule, maybe, hydraulic. But it's an old Leslie one. Unfortunately, we've got the bucket on the front there that's missing, broken off. We've got a Matchbox Series number 38, uh, Honda motorcycle trailer. We don't have a motorcycle here though, unfortunately. Um, I do have another uh, motorcycle trailer and motorcycle though, so uh, good for spares. Uh, this is a Monteverdi, hey? Uh, Swiss brand. This one looks like it's been attempted to paint in silver. Unfortunately, we do have a a break in that windscreen. Now we've got three of these little uh, trucks. 
or little cabs and they come with different trailers um, this is a freeway gas tanner number 83 this one unarticulated truck and then yeah we got different different uh, I imagine they'll all read the same I don't actually say anything just uh, Lesney products from 73 um, likes a racing stripe this child oh we've got a couple of race cars here this is lovely this is an F1 Ferrari number 73 and this is one I don't think I have looking at my little pile of race cars um, I don't think I've got one of these that's quite good we are missing is it either a driver or a yeah it must be a driver that sits in there um, maybe it would have had a, a racing sticker or decal on the front uh, a bit of research for that one but that is very nice uh, and then the uh, number 52 BRM goes alongside um, again missing a driver um, a racing sticker on the front what I do have is I have one of those uh, car transporters where it's a racing car transporter you know it takes two race cars and I want to do a package kind of restoration on not only the um, the truck itself but also two race cars so that'll be something that I need to uh, get in the future I've got another one of these uh, combine harvesters oh, this is nice this is a fantastic I've never done one of these um, actually it's not in bad condition um, windscreen's good it's even got the original decals um, on the side there uh, of course we are missing the engine um, but I'm, sh I'm sure that we have uh, replacement engines that would uh, fit that one uh, this is a fire chief I've got one of these in really good condition almost brand new um, but yeah that's that's not in bad condition that one it's a lovely uh, Corgi Ford Transit Wrecker and we are missing the uh, tow hook on this one but otherwise that's not too bad that uh, the Mercedes 350 SL looks like uh, the original yellow which I, I must agree with this uh, person that had it before is not the right colour for this car but unfortunately like all of these we are missing the, the windscreen uh, plus the kind of um, roof cover that goes on the back of this um, but yeah otherwise very nice we've got a visitor a fly of some sort um, okay the tire fryer to get a size of the engine on that uh, another one that's been attacked with a blank uh, black paint so yeah that will need to be all stripped off and repainted but I think everything is there this never come with a, a windscreen this is a lovely little thing um, Jeep made in Hong Kong by Marks so again yeah I've not I don't have any Marks products um, and I believe everything is here uh, my first instinct would be ah oh, the windscreen or surround is broken off but if you look on the bonnet there um, it's kind of molded into the bonnet you know having been pushed forward um, you know it's pretty I guess crude in its design but sweet at the same time I like that and then last but not least we have a majorette a Volvo 245DL made in France we have the opening um, opening rear hatch thankfully the windshield there is in good condition a little bit of overpaint this looks like it was originally in like a a light gold almost uh, but it's been over painted in silver it's got some uh, the original wheels over painted again lovely bit of detail around the front and it looks like it's a good size good scale and I love these old Volvos and I wonder whether I've got a set of wheels that would just sit right on this um, I would like to restore one of these cars straight away Huh, which one though? Because there's obviously there's many options here. Um, I really want to do this Volvo, but I just don't think I've got this 
set of wheels with me right now that would really suit. Um, see, I've got these uh, green light and I'm running a bit thin. I have made another order for some wheels and uh, not on green light but with somebody else and they're taking forever to come. Um, so I'm a bit restricted at the moment. There's some American style there, some kind of four by four. Hmm. Um, other than that, I have, of course you can go with like standard wheels, but I never like the standard wheels. Oh, we've got these race wheels. So, as a racing car, Perhaps we should consider either the uh, Porsche 910 or the Lotus Europa. So that will look quite nice on the Porsche, but I think it will look really nice on this Lotus. And Considering I no longer have my um, black Lotus Europa anymore, I think we're going to do a little custom, a reimagination of what this young child wanted their Lotus Europa to look like. And I think I'm going to restore this one, but into black with these nice wheels. And I'm going to put this unboxing at the end of this video. So guys, I hope you like it. Uh, Steve, thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate it. You'll see more of these cars on the channel in the future. But for right now, I'm going to get on with this Lotus.